<laughs> I am a little bit nervous about people um, kind of hearing that I am this way and then thinking, um, uh, well, sh you know, she's not welcome here. <laughs> I would say I am different. <laughs> We're all different. Most people probably think I'm already weird anyway, so I mean, I don't think society's impression of me is going to change drastically based on one or two discoveries that come to light after this video or... Pretty scary, you know? You, you wonder, how many people can I really, truly, honestly be open with? I've tried to change this before, but it's too important to me. I actually think marriage is between a man and a woman. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. I already have an idea of what marriage should be. That will never change. At the end of the day, I think we don't need to truly be ashamed of how we really feel about things, so just be you. No one should be looked down upon. No one should be suppressed, or no one's views should be suppressed. I know a lot of people who are gay. I have friends who are gay. I don't fear them, you know? They're wonderful people. I love them. What I do feel insecure about is speaking from the heart and being really open and honest about what I believe. I mean, I love my friends. Several of them happen to be gay. How would it not be the case that the ever-loving creator who gave us everything we have doesn't love us? Where's that balance? You know, where can you say, no, I'm not going to be a part of this, but still respect someone? Bigoted is a huge word that gets thrown around. It's just not true. You cannot have a society of hatred or a society of bigotry. I happen to know what marriage is, and I don't see how it could change. The best way to kind of break down all of these barriers, sorry, <laughs> is to just get to know people one-on-one. -on -one. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone.